Tom Aspinall defeats Curtis Blades, and he should be undisputed champion. But he's definitely going to fight John Jones next. Even if John Jones fights Stipe, no offense to Stipe, I don't think he has a chance. And on top of that, I don't think John Jones and Stipe is going to get done. I still have doubts about that fight. Um, but yeah, Tom Aspinall gets a beautiful win. He's so fucking fast, bro. It's unbelievable his speed. And um, I mean, it, like he said it himself, you know, he we and he as tom wants to see you know a longer fight but he keeps catching these guys and just got kind of goes to show you that tom is just really really fucking good he's really really fast and he's very precise so massive win for tom it just the only thing that's missing is his undisputed championship man he this should have been his first title defense for the undisputed title but it is what it is it's really nothing much we can say about this fight because um it was so fast, but Curtis had some success. He landed some pretty good shots, um, caught Tom Aspinall off guard, but, you know, Tom Aspinall adjusted, and the first thing that he engaged with, that he initiated, he he put out Curtis Blades and, and had him on his belly and then just started landing bombs, and, and that was it. Um, and, and that was pretty much the fight, so... It sucks for Curtis because he got a lot of love this uh, this week, and uh, he kind of showed that he's a likable guy. And uh, Curtis Blades, I think, is going to bounce back, and he'll find himself in a title eliminator or, or in another title fight soon. So, um, you know, Tom just keeps showing his dominance. He keeps showing why he should be undisputed champion. And, yeah, he needs to be fighting uh, John Jones next, and he definitely needs to be having his belt undisputed champion. So, um, it, it kind of feels fucked up that they're doing him this way, you know, that he has still the interim title. And um, he won't have, you know, that title win against Pavolic. And then now this title defense against Curtis. Like, that's under the interim. And it should be for the Undisputed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if John Jones and Stipe happens next, like, I don't think nobody really cares about that fight. Those guys are both old, especially Stipe. And um, John Jones, my only thing that I fear is that if that fight with John Jones and Stipe happens, I really do think that's both of their last fight. Um, I don't think John Jones is going to fight Tom Aspinall. I don't think that fight's going to happen. I think if he fights Stipe, that is it, and he'll vacate the title. And then Tom Aspinall is going to have to fight another challenger for the actual Undisputed ta uh, Championship. But it won't be John Jones. I just have that feeling. Dana White, I think, in the UFC and John Jones himself included, he just doesn't want to end his career on a bad note. And why would you? Why would you want to... Why would you want to end, you know, losing to to Tom, to this guy that's been calling you out, this guy defended the interim title, who's been, you know, saying this and that about you? Why does John Jones want to fight Tom when he doesn't need to? Like, why? Um, unless John Jones is really serious about being back, but I don't think so. The only reason why John Jones came back was to fight Francis Nunganu for a heavy, heavy bag. Francis Nunganu left, and John Jones had to fight Cyril Gon, and that was it. And now they're trying to make John Jones steep it. So I, I, I just have that feeling, bro. Like, I don't think we're going to see John Jones and Tom as much as the people want it. I don't think it's going to happen. I think what John Jones had that has a what he's accomplished in the division and the UFC in general, it's been amazing. And it's so much more than Tom Aspinall's career at the moment. But I also at the moment, Tom Aspinall to me is the better fighter than John Jones, just more active. He's younger. John Jones is, you know, he's at the end, if not the end of his career so it doesn't make sense for for uh tom and john to fight but if we get it that'll be awesome but i just don't see it happening man so i feel like they're gonna do tom aspinall wrong on this one i really hope not but i just it, it's very hard for me to see john jones and tom aspinall happening because especially how tom's been looking i it's just really hard to see that fight but let me know if you guys think that fight's gonna happen tom and john or tom aspinall and john jones and um, what the predictions are. So uh, we had a good fight. Tom Aspinall showed why he's one of the best, man. So you just got to give it to Tom. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave some comments below. See you guys in the next one. Peace.